ilefe are you ready the blind will see the deaf will hear the lame will walk afflictions will give way all kinds of sicknesses will be healed as the right reverend foreman nedison storms ilefe in the three-day citywide crusade organized by the diocese of ife anglican communion tagged at the name of Jesus. It was in the office. The woman met me. She came with HIV AIDS. She said, Sir, this is my affliction. I lay hands on her. The following week, she called me and said, they check what they say the thing is not there. This crusade holds from Monday, 28 November to Wednesday, 30th November, 2022 at Oromiyo Memorial Grammar School, Road 7, Ileife, by 4 p.m. daily. Ministering in song is Lady Evangelist Toyo Si Akinya. You cannot afford to miss this encounter. Forces of darkness sitting on my testimony. I unseat you tonight by fire in the name of Jesus. To join online, visit dioceseofife.com forward slash live. Come and experience the power in the name of Jesus. We want to welcome our listeners and viewers at home to this special, what we can call special edition of the Bible study. It's not going to be the uh, conventional study that we normally have at this time. Uh, we are having a special program and we want to use this opportunity uh, to make listeners to be aware so that they can prepare and then partake of this wonderful uh, program as designed by God himself to bless his people, especially at uh, Ife land, that is Ileife and the environment, which we believe we also spread to the state and the nation as a whole. So we're going to have a special discussion around that particular event uh, for this uh, evening. And it's my prayer that the Lord himself will bless us. With me in the studio, at least to discuss on this all important program, we have our mommy who will be introducing herself. Mommy. God bless you all our viewers and listeners. <coughs> my name is Mary Awofusoye. You are welcome. Ma. Thanks. Son. And we also have in the studio, a father and the Lord. The Reverend Canon Adeyemon Adeyera. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, let us pray. Gracious Father, we want to thank you because we know that you always bless us in many ways. You are God and you ever be God. Yes. Lord, as we go into this discussion that centers around that which we believe you have planned, you have programmed, and you are bringing to fruition in the city and in the life of all across the globe. Lord, you will speak to us and then you will steer our hearts to partake the earning wherever we may be when that program will roll out. Blessed be your name, Lord. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Just like I said, you may be wondering what kind of program is that. Uh, there are so many ways God normally blesses people. And you know, you want to spread it across, spread it here and there. And that is why under this, that big umbrella, we are having what we refer to as a citywide crusade. You no, know, it's not very common. It's not very, it's not a day by day affairs, as you know. But when the program like that comes through the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, you know what it means. And uh, so we're going to be speaking to us, uh, elaborating on that program so that you will fully be aware and then you will link up and then you can also benefit from wherever uh, the program or wherever you may be across uh, the globe. And so we go on straight to inform and enlighten us and prepare our mind towards that program. Um, mommy, the Lord has been going on underground concerning what's actually going to happen and uh, when is this happening? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Coming up at Ilefe, at Oramania Memorial Grammar School, from the 28th of November to the 30th of November, 
is a God inspired crusade mm -hmm. that God has intended to rescue the people of Ileife and deliver the land from trials and tribulations. And every area that this, this city has been forgotten for good, God has opened a book of remembrance concerning this land. But he wants us to come and call on to him. He wants us to come. Yes, he wants us to come and speak to him concerning the land. Because he has opened a book of remembrance, but he wants you and I to be a partaker. Because when it's good for me and it's good for you, it's good for the land. So God is calling us to this crusade that is coming up on the 28th of November. God has inspired our Father in the Lord, Bishop Akinlade, to, 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 you know, begin this crusade at that appointed date. And the theme of the crusade is at the name of Jesus. Mm. And we all know that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, mm. whether in heaven or earth or underneath the ground. So we believe God that great things is about to happen. Great things. God is about to do great things in this land. And we want everyone to be a partaker of the goodness of God for this season. Thank Praise you. God. Thank you very much. Uh, Father and the Lord, uh, Mommy have spoken. Uh, I believe there are other things, preparation and other things that we may want uh, listeners and viewers to know concerning uh, this particular crusade. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of work have gone underground. Over a month now, we have been putting in place several things so as to make the crusade a success. Mm. Uh, we are convinced that this crusade is going to be an unforgettable experience. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Amen. We are convinced beyond any reasonable doubt. No matter how reasonable that doubt is, <laughs> we are convinced beyond it. Mm. That no one that will step into that crusade ground will go by the sea. Mm. The Lord has spoken good Amen. for Samuels. Amen. We are rest assured mm. that God is going to turn around mm. our life and the city of Ifia and Mr. Amen. Mm. There is going to be a new wave blowing. Amen. That we ease our struggle. Amen. And so we are full of great expectation. Mm -hmm. And I want the listeners and the people around us to click into this because we don't see things like this often. So there is great expectation. Great expectation. For great manifestation. Sure. Okay. Uh, then what arrangement do you put? You said there are a lot of arrangements. Yes, sir. But what arrangement do you have for people who may, for one reason or the other, they have listening now, they want to come, but, well, uh, there are some especially yes, financial constraints. For arrangement? to be able to ease the, uh, the movement of the people to the venue, the, our bishop in the diocese has made provision for people to come without any struggle of transport fear. By the grace of God, more than 10 different locations, buses will be placed. For people at Ondo Road, yeah. in Ife here. Thank God you are, you, are, you are explaining to us more. The, there will be two buses at School of Science to convey people to the venue. From School to of Science. To and fro. To and fro. Mm -hmm. So that people in so the that road they won't this. have any struggle of how will I go there with the cost of transport now in town. Again, people at Arubidi, there is a bus place at Arubidi Junction. So no matter the number of people, the bus will keep on coming and going, carrying them. 
at Ayetoro Itakogun route, there will also be bus for people in that axis that will carry them. And again, Lagere area, for people from that end, who will also be coming out from our neighboring town, Modekeke area, they then just come to Lagere at the Aromania Tower. Mm. Buses will be placed there that will convey people to the venue. And Ede Road, people from that end, you don't have any problem. Just go to our church along that road. Church of Messiah. Ede Road. Ede Road. A bus will be there to convey people to the place. At Okpa area also, at Okpa Junction, two buses will be there to convey people to the place. So also at Ibadan Road, at the Sami slash toll gate, there will be buses in that end to move people to the venue. Again, people from Ilode, Agon, buses will be there. Ilode Junction, there will be a bus there to move people to the Junction Technical uh, College. Just go to Technical College at Ilode. You will see bus at Agon, the police station area. There will be a bus there to move people to the venue. Mokuro, NTA Road, at Oladimeji International School. Two buses has already been arranged to convey people to the venue. Also, our neighboring community, Oribo area, at Akilalu slash Asikpa Junction, in the Baden Road here, buses will be there to move people from the two communities. People that are coming out from Akilalu, people that are coming out from Asikpa, bus will be there to move them to the venue. From Ikwetu, Moro, Yakoyo, at uh, the Palace of Yakoyo, there will be two buses there to move people to the venue. So, we don't have problem with moving people from different locations to the venue. Including affected if if those people also. Ah. There will be buses at Ikija, a mm. bus, also at our church at uh, Okesoda. The bus will also be there to convey and people. All other, also. all other people also. So, arrangement has been made and all the transport has been paid for. You don't need to pay anything to convey yeah, yourself. Just for them, just to make themselves available. Available. The, the, the nearest. To and fro. They are coming and going has been paid for. Thank you very much for that because it is very, very uh, important. Uh, to do that, maybe in the nearest future, we we'll make God will make provision that even when you want to fly him, you'll be able to have sure, that. Sure. But then you have access, you have access to uh, the various link uh, on the, the website and then the on the internet and on social media to link up with that revival uh, for that with that crusade as it goes on here uh, because it's going to be heard all over uh, the, the world. Cool. Uh, God bless you as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, mommy, uh, we have looked at uh, those. Uh, what makes this revival unique from everywhere? They have been crusade. They have been. I mean, but what do you think makes this one to be a unique one? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I think it's Nathaniel. He said, "Can any good thing come out of Nazareth?" And his brother said, "Come and see." You know what? Some people are looking at this uh, uh, poster, they say Anglican. What do they want to do? You know that generally in the Anglican communion, we don't make noise and we don't brag. But because this crusade has been specially ordained by God, and our bishop has been motivated by the Holy Spirit to go and carry out this crusade because of the special sin that God wants to do in this city. It is a special crusade, sir. It's very special. It is not man flesh motivated. Then who are those who are the minister? It is not man made. It is God inspired. And God has inspired a servant in the person of Bishop Foreman Nedison, who is coming from, Eli uh, uh, from Jalingo, who God has placed upon him the spirit of Elijah of this season. 
So all the way from Jalingo. All the way from Jalingo is Jola State. To, in Jola State is coming to minister in this city. For the three his, days? For the three days. Okay. His ministry is, is backed up with the power of God and there have been signs and wonders following his ministration. We have, there are testimonies. We, are we going to have some, maybe some uh, uh, musical? Or of course, our, the, our father and the Lord Bishop Medicine will be ministering the word okay. for the three days. Okay. While our sister, Sister Toyo Siakia, okay. will be ministering in music. Okay. For the three days, for the three and days. there are also some people that will be backing them up oh, for okay. the three so days. So it's going to be so a wonderful. God has prepared them. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Father and the Lord. Apart from this uh, crusade, we understand that attached to it for the minister that there is going to be a, a conference. Yes, Is sir. it? On the, uh, can yes, you give sir. An for two days, by the grace of God, the crusade is three days in the evening by four and the crusade is starting by monday on the 28th of this month of november mm -hmm. and by the grace of god on the second day which is 29th of november by 10 a.m there is an arrangement for all the ministers of god in the land and all the neighboring communities that we are to gather together all the church leaders church founders all the workers all those who play one role or the other in the church who has different assignments we the lord has has ordained that we should come together mm -hmm. to refine ourselves amen to re, for a refiner fire mm -hmm. For, for 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 us to get prepared for the new for at least for the next year that is coming Amen. to renew our vision to renew our strength so the the arrangement is made by 10 in the morning at St John's Anglican Church in Lare mm. that church beside the road that big church St John's Anglican Church in Lare by 10 in the morning and later is by one we will be true preparing for the evening section at Onamia. So by the grace of God, we are expecting all the church fathers, all the church leaders, all the workers in the church, those who play one role or the other. So that because we have a lot to do with 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 the progress of the church of God. Amen. We have a lot to do. And if we if the church is going to be what God is expecting. The responsibility lies with us mm -hmm. as the ministers of God. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have created this section for every one of us so that the that Lord the can use, can achieve his aid through us. So, the blessing in the morning, the yes, blessing yes. In, in the, the evening. evening. Ah, it's yeah. going to be a wonderful time in the city of Ilif. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have uh, had it said here and there. And uh, we believe you're, you're already uh, thirsty for the power, the manifestation of the power of Christ. And the, the hunger is already building up in you to partake of that which God will do. You know, you know the importance of it. And mommy, we are talking about the inspiration, we are talking about the uniqueness, we are talking about the nature. Because where it starting itself is symbolic a very very spiritually symbolic the source people refer to Elif as the source mm -hmm. and you know what means when anything comes out spring forth from the source you know what and when beautiful things when the hand of god move from the source when the glory and grace of god move from the source it goes to all direction and that is the uniqueness and so we want you to partake of it wherever you may be either to link on or to be physically, especially for those of us that are in the environment, to be physically present for that which God has intended and planned. He said he has prepared his table before us to make our call to do what? To run over with wonderful blessing and miracle. And he said in that Hebrew was that, yes, that which he has prepared for us, he said, we did not 
Yes, it's a package that at this time must come to each and every one of us so that all of us together will have been fully blessed. That is what God intended to have and that is what God intended to do. Uh, in the Acts of Apostles, the Bible records that Philip, evangelist Philip, stepped into Samaria and the, the Bible said joy. Joy filled that city. And it is expectation and belief and prayer that the joy of the Lord, as it did in the time of the world, we also visit the city of Philippi and each and every one of us and the environment Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, as we are winding up, mommy, I'm sure you have a concluding word for the people as they anticipate the visit of divine grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to encourage all our viewers and listeners to just ensure that they come to the venue. Don't be afraid. You have nothing to say. He who keeps us does not slumber or sleep. Leave whatever you are doing as soon as it's 3.30. Leave whatever you are doing and come straight to the venue. Put down all your heart desires. What are those things that we intend for the Lord to do for you? I don't want you to just come because they ask you to come. No. Don't come because they are asking you to come. Come because you have something to take from the Lord. Come because you want to receive something from the Lord. And write in your heart, yes, that you should have an expectation. If you cannot write, write it in your mind that, Lord, I want you to do this. I want you to do this. Nobody is going to ask you to bring oil or handkerchief or anything. No. Your faith in God. Just come. And by faith, touch Jesus. And he will do wonderful things in your life. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't, I will not miss it. Don't miss it. I will not I will miss it. it. Yes, have I done the Lord? Thank you, sir. Uh, I, just like our mommy has said, we are encouraging everyone to make sure that you are there. Just make sure you are there. Because he's going to be regrettable mm. if anyone miss this kind of divine arrangement. Mm. Because you don't see things like this often. They are very, very rare. Things like this don't come every time. And you make A only when the sun shines. Yeah. And so we are very, very convinced that no one will be at that crusade ground and be the same. And be the same. Where even if the person is mad, I don't know the, the situation that could say we met you, but we are convinced beyond any reasonable doubt that the Lord has something for everyone. Yes. The Lord has something for everyone because He said nobody comes to me and be casting me. Mm. I don't know what is dead in your life. I don't know the situation. I don't know the sickness. I don't know the, the oh, deadness of your life. I don't know mm. the trouble. I don't know the condemnation. I don't know the judgment. I don't know the battle, the load you carry. Mm. I don't know the, your experience. But I mean that there's going to be a change of story. Amen. Amen. And so we are encouraging everyone. Your transport fear has been paid for. So you don't have any excuse. To be, Your yeah. toe flow has been set to And even if you don't have any offering to give, mind you, everything has been prepared for without your cover. Yes. So you don't have any excuse to say that you will not be able. So I encourage everyone. So please, no, no toy gate, no <laughs> gate fee. <laughs> so it is free. You don't have anointing white to buy. As Jesus Christ. We don't Christ. have water to sell. As we don't have anchorage to sell. So, so, so you come. can see that God has prepared and a lot of things yes. under this uh, crusade. Free, free, free. So it's for us to partake the honey. And you can be very assured, just as my mm -hmm. father and the Lord and mommy has uh, said, that God indeed has prepared wonderful things for us. Because at the name of Jesus, mm -hmm knees must bow and you can be very sure that knees 
will do bow. Mm. And God Himself will lift His name up mm. far, far, far above any principalities and power that may be troubling your life. And you will have a new song Amen. and a new story Amen. to tell Amen. at the end of it all. Amen. So we want to thank our mommy, mommy Mary. I will be saying, thank you, God sir. bless you for Amen. coming. More grace Amen. and more than nothing. Amen. And our father and the Lord, the Reverend Kano Adeyemo. Thank Adeyera. you, sir. We are very grateful. We pray that all of us together will partake of these good things that God is doing Amen. and preparing us for eternity. Amen. In Jesus, we want to thank our studio man in our Berlin studio, Paraka, for having to record our voices. And also, we want to thank uh stations crown fm and all other stations that are hearing and are helping us to especially as concerned this crusade and the bible study that we'll be having god bless your work jesus amen. name amen let us pray mommy pray for us father in the name of jesus amen we thank you lord because you are forever faithful lord we pray once again oh lord that will draw your people unto yourself in the name of Jesus. Amen. Their heart is in your hands like the waters of the sea. Father, we pray that you bring them unto yourself, O oh Lord. Amen. And as they come, I know you will bless them exceedingly and abundantly. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Let there be your name. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen.